I'm going to show you real quick how to fill out the bracket for Book Madness this year. Book Madness is just for fun. You don't have to have read the books. Um, we just want to get people talking about them and get people sharing about the books that they read and like. So the, what, what you'll do is go into the classwork stream of the new library events classroom and open up first the Book Madness bracket. And what this is, is it allows you to um, it's similar to basketball brackets, if you've ever seen those. What you're trying to do is predict which books will win in a competition between them. So, for example, for this first round, over here we have My Hero Academia versus Naruto. So you're going to decide which one of those you think should win, and you'll just click on it from that list. It'll be one or the other. Then you'll go down and look at the next one. Do you think New Kid or White Bird should win? Then you'll just click on that one, okay? And you'll go around the whole outside. Once I've gone through and done the whole outside, which is sort of the week one, I'm gonna now move in. So now I have to choose between My Hero Academia and New Kid. So I'm gonna choose from here. I'm going to choose this one. And then over here, I'm choosing between Babysitter's Club and Ghost Boys. And then so on and so forth. I'm going to go through and compare one of us as Lion Keeper of the Lost Cities. And I'm just choosing one of each randomly. Okay. And now I'm going to move in one more level. I'm going to choose between New Kid and one of us as Lion. And then for this one, I'm going to choose between Ghost Boys and Every Day. And now I'm at the winner. So now I have to decide whether I think New Kid or Ghost Boys is going to win. And that's the one that I think is going to be the overall winner. And again, I just guessed on these. I was just picking the first one that popped up for each one. I'm not saying um, that you should pick the same ones I did. So what you're trying to do is figure out how do you think other people in the school will vote based on these books? So once you've filled out your whole bracket, remember the bracket is the ones you think other people will pick. Now you're gonna go to the voting form. You're gonna go in and you are going to choose, you're gonna fill out your name and what team you're on, and you're gonna choose. This form is the books that you like best. So in the bracket, you're picking what you think other people will choose. For this one, you're picking which ones you like best. And those might be the same thing. You can do whatever you want. If you want to learn more about the books, you can open up this document and it gives you instructions, but it also tells you, if you click on this fourth slide, um, you can look at each of these books and each one of these, if you click on them, brings you a link to tell you more about the book. Um, and then each week also, even if you didn't get your bracket correct, because a lot of you will probably, you know, your bracket, you'll find out after the first week that your bracket didn't win. Um, you can still win a prize by voting. So each week, one name will be drawn um, from anybody who votes to win a smaller prize. So even if you um, didn't fill out a bracket or even if your bracket is incorrect, you can still win.